sort of house of assassins who attempt to trick death. This is my favorite part of doing the Sprinto bot. Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And the video that you were supposed to see, what this video was supposed to be about, was a 10k day with a couple fun different elements to it than the usual 10k days. <sighs> I've struggled with 10k days in the past just because that element of challenge has been difficult for me. So honestly, I've been setting a lot of these out, but this time I wanted to try again and I'll talk about what's special in a little bit. Um, but current me is going to revisit at the very end of this video to talk about how even though I failed, so like spoiler alert, even though I failed, why that was a good thing, how much I managed to freaking get done, and why I think you should still attempt challenges like these, even sometimes if you know you're gonna fail ahead of time. Yeah? Yeah? So without further ado, let's go back to the Kate who really thought she could do this. Yeah. Good morning. It is 7 to 4 a.m. The pups are eating. And we're about to do step one of the 10K day. Now today's 10K is actually going to be a little bit different from all of the 10K days I've done before. For the most part, I've always been drafting. This time I'm going to be still outlining and rereading so that I can prepare for NaNoWriMo. But also, I'm, I'm doing group sprints. In fact, let's see. If I go to Discord, I think there might already be people in the chat already sprinting. Already 10K it up. It is time to sprint, sprint, sprint. Oh, there's one going right now. Ah! Join, zero. I'm here, I'm here and I'm ready. Ah, I'm not quite focused, much like this camera, but I'm here. Although now that I see this, that sprint was actually at 6.59 and it's now 7.19, which means not perfect timing. <laughs> this actually is going to let me, yeah, time's up. <laughs> Word count updated zero. <laughs> The other thing unique about today is that I think it's going to be a little bit easier to get the 10k while I'm rereading, though I do have a whole thing about taking notes and like outlining alongside it. However, I have a lot of other things I need to get done today, so I think I'm going to be using the sprints like as other work sprints as well. So I'm going to do like one on and one off. Sprint 20 at the 25. Yes. We are now at the capital in my story. And I think there's about like two more scenes of pure excitement about the capital before we sort of turn the corner and go deeper into the capital and um, see that it's not as great as it appears. And then I think pretty quickly after that, we get to the house, which is these sort of house of assassins who attempt to trick death. And so I'm so pumped. I should probably get a little bit more set up. Yes. Another thing done. And I think this one's also a smaller scene. Ta da! How much time do we have left? Oh, okay. Three minutes and 39 seconds. So that last scene was 368, and this one that I just finished was 848. Ho oh, ho! Oh. And that gives me 1,216 words. So when there's not huge changes to be done, all of this moves considerably faster. In fact, I think a lot of this is gonna move relatively fast um, when I can actually spend time on it, up until I have to completely extract um, the character of the prince. 
or change it a little bit. He's not being extracted. It's like his role's being reduced and then it's actually being multiplied. <laughs> oh, it's time. Work out. One, two, one, six. Yay, dang, look at this. Kaddish already passed 5K for the day. Oh, Sprinto's giving us the results. This is my favorite part of doing the Sprinto bot when we're all together. I've said it repeatedly, but I cannot wait for NaNoWriMo when more of us are drafting or like when I'm fully drafting just to see how many words we can get all together. Like, look at this, over 4,000 words in 20 minutes collectively. Like, that's so cool. So the next sprint is actually gonna be my like work sprint. I need to make a list of all the stuff I'm going to attempt to do today, but I also want to add a sprint tracker over on this side. So. I can see that the first sprint, I got one, two, one, six. Ta-da! I'm gonna do some work sprints and just give myself one or two words on if I get my tasks done. The next sprint, I'll be back to the reread. I've got a plan. Whoops, where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> Over 3,000 words in 50 minutes. Way to go, team. Delta. I'm in the middle of a sprint. Yep. Okay. Hello, Zelda. Look at them ears. Yes, serving. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm now at just under 2,000 words. As I'm attempting to figure out website stuff, I'm taking a little bit of a break. <laughs> The websites always defeat me. So instead, I'm going to wow, change into contacts and do the dishes. Dishes to put up, dirty dishes to put in. <laughs> no. All right. I got the very basics of the website set up and I got the dishes going. Let's get back to the writing. Boop, boop, boop. And I can cross off a few things. Got that. Yay. And I got that. Okay. We have a little bit of time left. I just finished the intro to the house. And then I was like, man, I feel like we're, you know, we've added another mystery in here. But as far as like an intense sort of thing about the house, like we need something else. Cause you can see that these have been pretty small. This is a little bit bigger as it's adding to the mystery, but like we need something big again. And guess who has that big thing? Another death. <laughs> But it's so good because, you know, it's not my main character who kills someone and she actually isn't even sure if it's on accident or on purpose and she's just kind of confused. And then of course, you know, as we're adding all these elements to the mystery, the reader's confused too. I, I'm a scene and a half away from that. Um, this next scene's gonna build into it as we're introduced to the person who's about to die. But like, so far, pacing's on point. Which again, this is making me very happy as I know I'm about to have to do so much work. <laughs> we're doing it, puppy. We're doing it. Oh, we're doing it, other puppy. We're doing it. Okay, weird. The first uh, sprint, I got one, two, one, six, six, forty-seven, and then this last one, I got one, two, one, six again. But to be fair, this one was the actual scene was one, two, one, six. Zelda, what are the odds? <laughs> she was shockingly unhelpful. <laughs> Wow. Okay, Luke Skywalker 2 said, so far today we've written a nano novel only counting sprint words that were reported. 
Isn't that awesome? Go, us, go. Go, us, go. Well, now that I have taken that brief interlude of eating pizza, going on a bit of a drive, and I finished filming this, ooh, I can check some stuff off my list. I did that. Yay. Mm -hmm. Special that it's become this little phenomenon that was born. I don't know. A lot. All right, current Kate is back now. So here's the thing. I was attempting to do 10K of my NaNoWriMo outline. Like that was the main goal. That was the group sprint 10K day, heck yes. That was the goal. But I realized early on that I still had a lot of other work to do. So I was like, oh, I'll alternate stuff. This worked pretty well in that it's a great freaking day. It was a very productive day, but it was not a 10K day. Yeah. So let me show you what all I got done. So I managed just over 3000 words in my NaNoWriMo project. So, you know, 30% of the 10K day. But I also managed to get that website up and running, which Sounds like not a big deal, but like was a was a pretty big deal for me. Since I still needed to do stuff like buy the domain and figure out the web hosting and all sorts of stuff, I decided on Wix instead of WordPress, even though my other stuff is through WordPress, but I just needed something easy and Wix definitely made it easy. So 3K website, I also managed to completely film, edit, and get a video ready, which is crazy. It's actually already up today, this video. <laughs> and I managed to get my Twitch revenue stuff sorted out and get a new Twitch overlay figured out. Anyways, that's all to say that I don't know that on a Saturday I would have gotten that much stuff done. And I'm very glad I got that much stuff done. Had it not been for even attempting the 10K day, there was something in also doing the work sprints with people that was incredible. And I like the Discord element, I think a little bit more than even doing like YouTube sprints and stuff like that. I think because I'm much better able to just like put the Discord to the side. In fact, there were several times, <laughs> which you all saw on screen where I was just like, oops, because I forgot to record how I did. But it was nice even to have a word count zero and then be the word count one for one activity achieved or two activities achieved or whatever, you know? So I think there's really something to be said for shooting for a big goal and having like continuous group support that pushes you to do more than you can, even if it is not actually hitting the 10K. In fact, my mood for the day was a very, very elated smiley face. <laughs> but the other thing I want to add, as I've recently been sort of trying to take care of my mental health, because I worked on Saturday, I'm actually taking all of Monday off. So today I'm filming on Sunday, which isn't that big of a deal. It's easy to film. So, you know, a little bit, like five minutes of work on Sunday. And then Monday, I'm gonna be reading, I'm gonna be doing a reading vlog. But again, it's gonna be so much easier just to have that off and just to be reading all day. And I'm so excited. So, you know, I'm trying to incorporate a healthier version of doing all of these crazy huge writing challenges. And I recognize that as someone who often spurs on crazy huge writing challenges and attempts to get others involved in it, that it's just nice to sort of keep tabs on how I'm feeling about it and making sure that, you know, if you are also participating in them, that you're keeping tabs on yourself too and being kind to yourself. But I do think that's going to be the end of this video. I do want to just show you real quick that there's tiny pupper one sleeping in here. Tiny pupper two all curled up in her corner and then tiny puppy three, so cute. So please do comment down below. Let me know what you think of 10K days in general, huge writing challenges in general. Do they help motivate you? Do they stress you out? What do you think of the kind of group sprint element? And do you find it easier if once upon a time you had writing groups in person, do you find it easier or more productive in person versus like YouTuber streams versus a Discord chatty group? Let me know. I'm curious. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye. So all of this moves considerably faster when, oh wow, I sound stuffed up even to my own ears. And I'm here, and I'm here to bring you another, mm.